Hello and welcome to my channel. Let's explore the wonders of food in every countries all over the world. The Philippines is the second largest archipelago in the world and is made up of 7,107 islands located in the South China Sea. Filipino cuisine centers around the combination of sweet, sour, and salty base of cooking flavor. The food consists mostly of vegetables, seafood, dairy meat and rice. That is one thing that makes Filipino food interesting its smell make it unique and it is something you have to watch for it. Let's begin. First on our list. Philippine adobo, from Spanish adoba, marinade, sauce or seasoning, is a popular Filipino dish and cooking process in Philippine cuisine that involves meat, seafood, or vegetables marinated in vinegar, soy sauce, garlic, and black peppercorns, which is browned in oil, and simmered in the marinade. It has occasionally been considered the unofficial national dish in the Philippines. Second in our list. Bicol Express, known natively in Bicol spiced with chili, is a popular Filipino dish which was popularized in the district of Malati, Manila but made in traditional style. It is a stew made from long chilies, coconut milk, shrimp paste or stockfish, onion, pork, and garlic. It is said to have been inspired by the fiery Bialano dish which is nowadays presented as one of the many variants of Bicol Express. Third on our list. Kari Kari is a Philippine stew complemented with a thick savory peanut sauce. It is made from a variation base of stewed oxtail, pork hocks, calf's feet, pig feet, beef stew meat, and occasionally offal or tripe. Kari Kari can also be made with seafood, prawns, squid, and mussels, or vegetables, which include eggplant, Chinese cabbage, or other greens, daikon, green beans, okra, and asparagus spins are added, usually equaling or exceeding the amount of meat. The stew is flavored with ground roasted peanuts or peanut butter, onions, and garlic. It is colored with anato and can be thickened with toasted or plain ground rice. Fourth on our list. Sinigang is a Filipino soup or stew characterized by its sour and savory taste. It is most often associated with tamarind, although it can use other sour fruits and leaves as the souring agent. It is one of the more popular dishes in Filipino Sinigang typically use meat or seafood, fish, pork, beef, shrimp, or chicken, stewed with tamarind, tomatoes, garlic, and onions. Other vegetables commonly used in the making of Sinigang include okra, tara corms, white radish, water spinach, yard long bins and eggplant. Most Filipinos like to cook sinigang with green long peppers in order to enhance the taste and add a little spice to the dish. Another variation includes adding locally made miso. Fifth on our list. Kinilaw, literally eaten raw, it is more accurately a cooking process that relies on vinegar and or acidic fruit juices, usually citrus, to denature the ingredients, rather than a dish as it can also be used to prepare meat and vegetables. The most common kinilau dish is, fish kinilau, prepared using raw cubed fish mixed with vinegar, usually coconut vinegar or cane vinegar, as the primary denaturing agent, it is flavored with salt and spices like black pepper, ginger, onions, and chili peppers, commonly bird's eye chili. Popular kinds of fish used in kinilau include Spanish mackerels, king mackerel, or wahoo, marlins or swordfish, yellowfin tuna, milkfish, and anchovies. Sixth on our list. Litsong baboy, is a dish in which the entire pig is stuffed, glazed, and slowly spit roasted over coals. The most coveted part is the crispy, golden brown skin, which tops the tender meat that melts in one's mouth. The preparation of lekan is lengthy but the Filipinos see it as an excellent opportunity to socialize. Traditionally, the pig or piglet is slaughtered early in the morning, its entrails are removed, and boiling water is poured over the skin so the hair can be scraped off. Next, salt and pepper are rubbed on the inside and the outside, and the pig is skewered on a long bamboo pole. 
The inside of the pig is stuffed with various ingredients, which can include lemongrass, garlic, onion, bay leaves, tamarind leaves, sabi bananas, and star anise, and is then sewn together with twine. The pig is slowly roasted over coals while being turned and constantly glazed with either evaporated milk, soy sauce, oil, or even soft drinks. Seventh on our list. Bulalo, is a beef dish from the Philippines. It is a light-colored soup that is made by cooking beef shanks and bone marrow until the collagen and fat has melted into the clear broth. It typically includes leafy vegetables, like pitche or cabbage, corn on the cob, scallions, onions, garlic, ginger, and fish sauce. Potatoes, carrots, or taro can also be added. It is commonly eaten on rice with soy sauce and calamansi on the side. Bulalo is native to the southern Luzon region of the Philippines, particularly in the provinces of Batangas. 8 on our list. Dinagoan, is a Filipino savory stew usually of pork offal, typically lungs, kidneys, intestines, ears, heart and snout, and or meat simmered in a rich, spicy dark gravy of pig blood, coconut milk, onion, pepper, bay leaves, garlic, chili and vinegar. It can also be made from beef and chicken meat. Dinagoan, is usually served with white rice or a Philippine rice cake called puto. The most important ingredient of Dinagoan recipe is obviously the pig's blood. Pork blood is used in many other Asian cuisines either as coagulated blood acting as a meat extender or as a mixture for the broth itself. Ninth on our list. Sisig, is a dish made from parts of pig head and chicken liver, usually seasoned with calamansi, onions and chili peppers. It usually refers to fruits. Preparing sisig comes in three phases, boiling, broiling and finally grilling. A pig's head is first boiled to remove hairs and to tenderize it. Portions of it are then chopped and grilled or broiled. Finally, coarsely chopped onions are added and served on a sizzling plate. Variations of sisig may include pork or chicken liver and or any of the following, eggs, ox brains, chicharin, pork cracklings, and mayonnaise, although these additions are common nowadays. The tenth on our list. Crispy Pata, it is a Filipino dish made from pork leg, usually from the hock to the trotters. Traditionally, tea is cooked deep fried but it can also be cooked in the oven. The main target is to have a crispy skin, as the name implies. As this dish normally requires some time to prepare, it is usually reserved for special occasions or for the holidays. Many Filipino restaurants would also have crispy pata in their menus, including pubs as it is a well-loved, booze appetizer. Some even offer boneless versions of it. Crispy pata is not complete without the accompanying dip, a mix of vinegar, soy sauce, chopped onions, ground pepper and, sometimes, chili labuyo. Thank you for watching.